Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Carvo Manor. This was a recent Rudy special. He was selling these to his Patreon for, I believe, $180 plus $15 membership fee. Got to uh, remember to tack on that membership fee. And he was saying, this is a great set. I don't understand why people are not buying it. It's very limited. Well, the beauty of MTG Finance, it's just numbers. You know, it's not me being offensive. It's just numbers, right? So distribution cost for this set is $180 for the collector's edition. Um, the current value of it on TCG Player is like $140. So had you bought this set and had you actually opened it, you would have actually lost more money. The EV is quite low, uh, which is a lot different than what Alpha Investment says the EV is. So we're going to take a look at hard raw numbers. If you don't believe me, you can go on TCG Player, you can go on eBay. I even look at the Amazon numbers. Now, Amazon, remember, takes a 20% cut straight from the top. So their numbers are going to be higher. So you can buy a box of this, Collector's Edition, the same box that Rudy was selling for $180 for $141 with shipping, and you can buy two of them. So the price point of this set has absolutely collapsed. Um, it's obvious why. Fallout, Modern Horizon 3, these are more exciting sets. I would even say that Fallout is more exciting than Modern Horizon 3. I, I would even put the majority of this on. People have a limited amount of money. They're not going to buy this shitty set. Um, anyone with any magic sense is going to realize this set is really, really kind of bad. It's not a set that will hold value. So anytime a set goes, be, anytime a collector's item or anything goes below the distribution cost, that means these game stores that are selling at this current time are taking a loss. Now, could some game stores have a different price point? Yeah, sure. But the majority of them are going to take a loss right now. And that's very, very, very bad. And as a, you know, as a property, you know, I'm sure that these game stores just want to sell this out, buy some stock up on some fallout if possible, right? Um, and uh, yeah, actually, I was talking to a subscriber of mine and the manor is brutal. Market panic and expensive singles and, you know, there ain't nothing in it. And you open a box, you're probably, EV is probably 110, maybe 100. It's not fun to lose money every single time. And there's really, in my opinion, not that many great cards. I mean, there's some good cards for EDH, but the power level is simply simply not there. So this card, it has collapsed. Um, and anyone who's trying to sell it to you is doing you a disservice even at 180, which is distribution cost because you can buy it on TCG Player. I think even Amazon, I want to show you Amazon because um, this... Like, you know, the old oh, Amazon dumps are over. Why does Amazon need a dump when they're already below distribution? Like, if someone explain to me how this is not an Amazon dump, right? When the product is already below distribution. For me, so the product is $170. The listed price is $324. It's 48% off on Amazon, according to Amazon. Uh, there are multiple sellers on Amazon's platform selling it for one seven. They have to sell it a little higher because the fees are slightly more for Amazon. But my point still remains very, very obvious. It's like, you know, like, honest to God, like, how can you say this is a good set? I know, like, he was trying to sell the set because, again, he makes money from selling sets. But why don't you sell them Fallout? You know, why don't you sell them Fallout for cost? And that would be amazing for them. I mean, he doesn't sell Meta Zoo for call. Remember the Nightfall first edition, the debacle? It was eight hundred and twenty dollars a booster box on Monarch first edition. He didn't get those boxes for eight hundred and twenty. He didn't get those boxes for five hundred. He got those boxes for fifty dollars or less. He didn't pass on the savings to you. He will only sell you something. That is, you know, he was like, oh, I'm passing on the cost to you. I'm going to try to, try, you know, cost is 180. The, the product is 160 right now. All day shipped. Right? So, wow, thanks for passing on the uh, cost. When the product on the open market is less than the cost.
uh, from the distributor. And then for something at MetaZoo, you know, it's a $50 box that you're buying, maybe $60, $70 box. Well, you know, instead of selling for $70, they're going to sell it for $820. So that's why I, I really have this debate with a lot of the alpha investment lemmings in the comment sections. He only passes on the cost when the cost is less than or the cost is more than the market price. If the market price of an item like MetaZoo, like Flesh and Blood, like Magic the Gathering, like the 6.9 bot, if, if the market price is higher than his distribution cost, he's going to charge you full market and then some. The fact that a MetaZoo booster box can reach $820, or that you are forced to buy two first edition Monarch booster boxes at um, what was it, a thousand dollars? I mean, they're, they're still worth. Not, I mean, what's first edition Monarch worth right now? Monarch, probably not that much. Let's take a look. Uh, TCG player. Let's just keep it simple. TCG player. It's still worth seventy eight eight ninety eight from Mythic MT. Oh, Mythic MTG. I know him. Them shipping included. Uh, Chad TCG has it for $74 and $4.99 shipping. There's no, I mean, when the market price is higher than the distribution cost, he's going to charge you market price and then some and throw some promos and stuff. If the distribution cost is higher or is, um, if the distribution cost is higher, yeah. He's going to charge you distribution costs, even though the market price is lower. So why are you just not, I mean, honestly, God, no one should be buying Carvel Manor right now when you have like some pretty banger sets like, like Fallout. Man, I want, I want to see him sell Fallout for a distribution cost. And I know what the cost is. Will he do that? Or will he sell it for market price? And then some, maybe he'll get a Rudy promo of himself. Go autograph some booster boxes and then that'll skyrocket the price. Maybe do a mystery box, man. I mean, that's always out there. So, in my opinion, um, yeah, this is you have $65 here on TCG Play of Monarch First Edition. It's the same box. In my opinion, this was by far the worst set in 2024. Like, of any card game. Minus MetaZoo. I mean, obviously, MetaZoo went to. You know, it's, it's MetaZoo is MetaZoo. It's kind of in its own little category. But yeah, this is pretty much the worst Magic the Gathering product, in my personal opinion, of this year. So far, so far, we'll see how Modern Horizon 3 does. I don't have high hopes for that one either.